Looking forward to that. In Minnesota, we know that there's summer, there's winter, and construction seasons. <laughs> right, but yeah. now the Minnesota Zoo has declared a new season. They have this power, apparently. It's called fall freezing season. Sort of what we're in right now. Some fun new activities for the whole family, too. Zach Nugent from the Minnesota Zoo joins us live on Skype to talk about it. Hey, Zach. Hey, Jason. Good morning. All right, fall freezing season. What does this mean? You know, we've seen a little bit of everything this fall from last weekend, 60s, 70s, and sunny to now we're talking about snow. So we just want to remind everyone that no matter the temperature, no matter the weather of the day, the Minnesota Zoo is here for you. It is a great destination to connect with nature. And we're trying to have some fall family friendly activities for all to enjoy while they engage with animals and nature at the zoo. Zach, how do the animals like this? This back and forth, 70s, 30s, 70s, 30s. You know, a lot of them are like us. You have some that are a little more enjoying it, so to speak. Others that, you know, like that steady climate. So we have a mix, but a lot of our outdoor animals are from the Northern Hemisphere. They're used to the seasonal change and quite a few actually become a little more active when it cools down. So in this fall season, as we kind of head into the beginning of winter, you're gonna see a lot of activity from our, a, lot of, a lot of our animals and they really seem to just enjoy it. I mean, the animals at, at the least don't complain about it as much as we do, <laughs> no. right? <laughs> You know, that is true. Yeah. They um, take it in stride. <laughs> Just keep feeding them. Yeah. Keep letting them run around. They're fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just explain all those natural behaviors. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, you have a couple of cool events coming up. Let's start with the pumpkin scavenger hunt. Yeah. yeah, so this is something we developed, and it's along our northern trail. We have a map that you can get to on our website, mnzoo.org, and it's just a go-at-your-pace scavenger hunt. We have some artistic pumpkin design set up, and it's just an opportunity to get the family together and explore a part of the zoo that, you know, sometimes people don't always prioritize. So we see a lot of people will always look at our tropics trail. Our farm is a popular event in the spring. So this gets people on the northern trail and it really is just a beautiful scenic walk and just the animals are so lovely this time of year. What is this uh, do the zoo, not the Zoom day on Thursday? <laughs> This is a fun one. So we know technology is so important. It's become even more important these past few months, and we don't want to take away from that. But there is something to be said about really just taking a moment away from the screen and enjoying the natural world around us. So mm -hmm. Thursday, we are declaring it do the zoo, not Zoom day, <laughs> to encourage individuals, whether they physically can come to the zoo or not, to just take a moment to really appreciate the beauty of nature, whether it is at the zoo, whether it's looking out your window at some of the birds and activity, whether you have a few plants growing in your house and you're just able to enjoy that natural green life. We want people to really take a moment and just reconnect with nature and animals. Yeah, it's a good spot to do it outside. You also have a lot of really great COVID protocols in place there at the Minnesota Zoo. Zach Newton, thanks so much for joining us today. No, Heather, Jason, thank you so much. Yeah. WCCO.com slash links says more about the zoo's fall freezing other events and happenings there.